Hey girl, hey. So first I'm starting out by priming my eyelid with a primer from Too Faced Cosmetics. And now I'm going into the 350 palette by Morphe, the original one, and just setting the product. I'm taking that palette using the Skin Tone Brown from the palette and working it into my crease. smaller tapered blending brush I'm taking a brown that's a hint darker just to add some dimension to the eye and to the crease area so for this look I was going for the halo effect and you see me bringing the color to the inner and bringing it to the outer part deepening the color and then I'm gonna take a fluffy blending brush and kind of like blend out all the harsh edges and now I'm taking a more precise crease brush um, it's the Morphe E28 and I'm deepening the crease and deepening the area where it will be haloed So now I'm just going to put a champagne color in the open area and then I'm going to take that same brown color and clean up around the edges of where I placed the eyeshadow. My lashes and liner off camera and I'm priming my face now y'all. Do y'all know that this had a pump? It had a pump the whole time. But I'm just so strong that I pulled it off so I'm just going to prime my face with um, this hard candy pore defense primer and then I'm gonna go into the Maybelline baby skin just because I like the silicone effect as always I'm gonna color correct to cover up that five o'clock shadow and those dark bays under my eye today I'm going to kind of contour under my foundation just a little bit And I'm really seeing a difference in the shape of my face now that I've started doing this. So now I just got to find the color that I really, really like that's really going to make the biggest difference. You know what I'm saying? Now I'm going to take my L'Oreal Pro Glow in the shade 209 and place it with a Real Technique Buffer Brush. Today I'm going to use the Yellow Corrector by LA Girl as my under eye highlight. I'm also going to use this product on the bridge of my nose, the center of my forehead, and my chin and chin chin. With beautiful bronze, I'm gonna contour some more. Just to give it a little more definition, and I'm gonna blend all of this out with a real technique contouring brush. I'm going to set all of this with an e.l.f. translucent powder first. All the areas that I've placed the yellow concealer. Then I am going to put the Vanilla Banana Powder on top. That's the new technique that I've been doing and I absolutely love how it's been coming out. So I should be doing a review or like an updated foundation routine very soon to show you guys like what makes the biggest difference in doing this technique. Now I'm going to take the same blush kind of brush that I used earlier and just blend out that contour some more. And now I'm going to take that um, big powder brush, that Kabuki style powder brush, and just set my whole face with that translucent powder by e.l.f.
Now this is where I'm placing the banana powder under my eyeball with a pointed brush. I guess it's like a pointed contour brush, but I love it to save my under eye. And what I'm gonna do is kind of like push that powder into my face before I dust it all the way away. Now I'm going to get my face some warmth using the Chocolate Face Powder by Black Radiance. I'm just warming up that face, yo. Oh, this is so pretty. I really love the way this look came out. I hope you guys love it as much as I did. Now I'm going into my Milani Bronzer and Fake Tan and just carving out those cheekbones just a little bit more because this powder does have a cooler and a warmer tone in there it helps you know with the definition of the face i just love it i just always had to use it i don't really have an explanation why i just love it and if you don't have it you freaking need it Now I'm using my favorite Milani blush and rose de aura to just give those cheeks some rosiness. Now I'm taking the e.l.f. baked eyeshadow and enchanted and glowing it up. Glow it up, glow it up. So I just dusted a little bit transitional color on my bottom lash line just to even out the eyeball look. And now I'm going to them lips. I am using Zipper by ColourPop. I can't remember what I lined my lips with, but I don't recommend lining it. This color was a little spotty, but I don't remember it in the past doing this. Now I'm just using a nude eye code to make my eyeball pop. And this is my final look. I hope you guys enjoyed this hello warm eye and this purple lips. Until next time, bye beautiful.